Hey, this is Dan Horton again, Horton's Lawn and Garden. I thought I would show you a review of some of the trailer racks that we use. Uh, this here is an unbranded unit that came from eBay. We've had this particular model on this trailer for two years. Um, you just take the snap off or padlock, whichever you've got on there, flip it down, and you can set your trimmer right in here. And at the other end, it just goes in between those two pipes. Um, we mow several cemeteries that are acreage lawn, so uh, we go, we move the trucks from site to site, and the guys will throw these pins in there when they're moving so that they don't uh, have to unlock the padlocks and lock the padlocks back on. Uh, if we're going down the road or going to residential jobs where we're moving, we'll have a padlock on them. This particular model uh, was $59 on uh, eBay. As I say, they're an unbranded name. They, uh, I believe they were even free shipping. They come with three identical padlocks that are key to like. The padlocks are not so great. They get a little wet and they don't want to open, so we replaced them with the master locks, as you can see. Uh, my uh, jungle gems used to wear real bad in here, and eventually they would slide down and cut into the uh, motor here and have a hole in them. So when I replaced them, I put these cheaper ones on. I think I, my uh, jungle gyms were like 300 bucks that I bought. And these were $59 uh, free shipping. So they're worth the money. I, you know, these, as you can tell, the, the pads are kind of sloped and angled, but they're not really wore through. And that is something that the jung jungle gym did really bad with us. Uh, the, the rubbers would wear on them or, or disappear and you know like these these rubbers here have never been changed so it's a pretty good unit for the price I can't complain about it and I would definitely buy another one uh, we'll go on over here and this here is the same thing this was an uh, unbranded uh, blower rack and we currently run a 350 steel on this uh, we've had a had an echo on it. Basically anything with a center loophole that will slide down over the top of this will work. And then it has a bungee cord that goes from here to here around the side of the machine, which is one part I don't really care for. But it, if you run down the road without it, all it does is allow the machine to sway a little bit. It's not too bad. The bad thing about this machine is there's no place to put your tube, in which case it gets down here on the ground and you run over it with a lawnmower. So we started putting it behind the, the tire here. Uh, one of these days I'll sit down and try to engineer something uh, that'll hold it up here. But as at this point we don't have one. And it, like I say, it does a good job. It's It needs some more design work to it. It's not like the, the trimmer rack, which is a pretty good design in my opinion. Uh, for, and this, this unit here I believe is uh, $69. Uh, then we go on over to our string rack, which is a, a metal rack on both sides. It's got a, a wing nut. You just loosen those up, and you can spread the ears out uh, to take up to a five-pound spool, or you can slide it in to take a one-pound spool. It does not have an automatic cutter in it. Uh, it does a good job. Uh, the bad part of it is uh, I did break these off the other day when I backed the lawnmower into it on the sides of the string but that's not the the rack itself fault that's operator air there now the only thing i really didn't cut any corners on here is the actual sure can cage and to be honest with you i'm not a fan of it uh, the cage itself is uh, uh bolts or locks up here on the top side but you have to unlock that and then lift this cage up in order to take your can out uh, when we mow cemeteries, you know, the guys get out in the middle of a five-acre cemetery, and it's easier for them to take a can of gas with them than it is to come back to the trailer. So, with this system, it's easier for them to bring back the uh, weed eater than what it is to take it back and fill it up. Now, on the can itself, uh, I believe it was like pretty close to $60. I do love the can. The only thing I do not like about the can is this cap right here. It's a mother to get it tied on. Uh, you're fighting it. So what my guys usually do is they just tip this down like so, so the water don't get into it at night. 
uh, during the day we'll leave it up but uh, you just push this little tab in push that down for the gas which the sure can I do love the can itself uh, but their cages not so much um, actually this can here should actually be put back here on the back side but I've got a guy that will set his weed eater up here on the fender in order to pour the gas out of it um, I guess I didn't mention over here on the trimmer rack one thing I do not like as you can see I've got this bump rail here on the top and then down here on the bottom I've just got a shallow uh, about an inch and a half two inch piece of metal to, to attach these two and this bottom trimmer is kind of hard to get in there uh, the 90 91 R's uh, are really tough to get in there you basically got to fold the grass edge up here to get into it the 94s you can sign it kind of angle it and it will fit it uh, it actually the bottom one will not spin at all uh, the top ones will spin a little bit but they're pretty much locked in there and as you can tell when I showed you earlier it did not have much damage to it um, but that is is my setup here as far as trimmer racks uh, blower rack and weed eater rack and uh, string trimmer you know I've got probably uh, less than 150 bucks in the three pieces and when I bought the jungle gym uh, string trimmer racks they were uh, like 299 plus shipping so uh, as, as far as I'm concerned this is just a good uh, uh, a trimmer racks as the name brand jungle gym actually it's a little better because they don't seem to wear the units as much so when you're buying equipment racks you don't have to go out after the name brand you can uh, get the cheaper ones and they do just as good a job you're able to lock them where people can't steal them from you and you can buy the engine covers and everything else that'll fit these just like you can the more expensive ones so there's a, a way of cutting costs for everything you know a lot of my guys end up even though we've got them as you'll see here in a second I'm walking over to the pickup this is what my pickup looks like most of the time anyway even though we got all the racks on the trailer they still insist on throwing them in the bed of the truck. So, like I said, this is Dan Horton, Horton's Lawn and Garden. I hope you enjoyed this video.